Okay, good morning. I am, I had something else to talk to you guys about this morning. And then I got a text message and it totally changed. So I might mix up a little bit of what I'm going to speak to you guys about this morning. Okay. If you can see behind me, it's a rainy, rainy day in Tennessee. And I'm here for it. I used to not really like rain like that. But all right, on to what I was going to say. So... I'm the type of person that I've done, I've, oh gosh, now these windshield wipers. I, I feel like I've grown into the type of person that I really, truly try not to worry about things that are not in my control. That's in the Bible too. Like, if I can't control something, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to worry about the things that are in my control. I feel like everything else will just work itself out. You have to excuse these, these wipers. It's not raining hard, but it's raining hard enough to where I need to use them every now and then, okay? So let's get past all that. But um, I'm just at a point in my life, like I feel like I've seen so much. I'm at the midpoint of my life and I've seen so much to where it's like, girl, if, if something happens and why am I gonna stay up and just worry and worry and worry and worry all day or all night about something that I, I can't change? If it's going to change for something positive, you know, let time run its course and allow it to change. And then if it changes into something negative, and I'll give you an example so it doesn't seem like I'm talking in circles. Say you have a relationship, any type of relationship, and you and that relationship have a strain. You might say, hey, you know, I really want this relationship to work. And this can be a friendship. This can be a romantic relationship. This can be um, a, a, a family relationship. And you could be like, you know what? I really want this relationship to become better. And it just may never ever become better, right? You still have to continue living life. That person still has to continue living life. And you guys might never get back to a place where you used to be. I've learned to accept those things. I've learned to accept that there might be something going on behind the atmosphere that God has not revealed to me to where I need to let that relationship go. You know, it could, it could be it could be any reason why. And at this point now, I'm not even questioning it because like I said, I'm at the midpoint of my life where I'm 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 past the wise. I'm past the wise. I just I want to wake up. I want to have a great day. I know every day is not going to be a great day. Sometimes it's mentally, sometimes it's physically, but I'm past the wise. I'm just I'm just trying to get to the next day. That, that's what I'm trying to do at this point. That's that's where I am. And then, you know, I feel like some people even in their grown age, they love drama. They cannot, they are attracted to drama. Like drama is, if they see some a sign that says no drama this way and we got drama this way, they're running to that sign that says drama. I, I'm not that person. I'm, I am not that person. If, if you notice you have some people in your life that something's always going on with them. Some, it's, it's not something small, like they got a flat tire or um, they tripped and fell on a stage when they were going to give a speech or something like that. It's always something super, super, super dramatic. And you get to a point where I'm like, why are all these things happening to you? Like, what are you doing in your day-to-day -day life to where you are putting yourself in these positions to where these bad things are always happening to you? And it makes me want to distance myself even more from these type of people. Once again, I feel like I'm an all-in friend. Like, for instance, YouTube. I'll give you guys this per prime example. YouTube. If you start a YouTube channel and I'm your friend or your associate, I am going to subscribe to your channel. I am going to watch your videos. I am going to help you grow because that's the type of person that I am. You don't, you don't have to ask me to do that. I'm going to do it because I, I, I like you genuinely and that's, I want to support you. If you start a company and you say, and we're really good friends and you're like, Hey, um, do, um, do you want to try out my product? I'm not going to ask you for a discount for it. I'm going to buy your product at full price because that's the type of person that I am. I am a very su supportive person. I can genuinely and accurately say that about myself. You might not receive that from other, from other people and that's fine. And, and when you don't receive that type of stuff from other people, you note that and keep it moving and decide where, how you're gonna place them in your life. Is this a person that I'm gonna talk to all the time? Is this a person that I'm gonna thumbs up their, um, their videos or like their Insta double heart, double tap their, their Instagram posts and keep it moving? Or is this a person that when I'm in your area, I'm gonna be like, hey, we're gonna meet up. You have to learn where to put and place certain people 
in your life. I, I know, I know what boxes people are in in my life now. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know if you're the type of person that I'm not going to go hang out with. I know that I'll just like, hey girl, here's a meme there and here and that. And that's fine. I just know what box you're in. Um, I'll give you another example. I'll give you another example about placement of people. So as far as like, um, as far as like me starting, you know, revamping my YouTube channel and stuff like that, I feel like people that know that I've done that, you are either going to come and support me and you're not. It's not going to make me dislike you if you do not. It's it's really not going to make me dislike you if you do not. But if I see that you will send me something else, you're sending me multiple reels on Instagram or you're sending me multiple text messages and you're not in support of something that I'm really trying hard to grow, I know what box to place you in. I'm not necessarily going to snip snip. I'm not necessarily going to completely completely cut you off because I mean, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just not. I just know how much energy I'm going to put in Ooh, this truck put into um, whatever it is that we have going on. Now, I can't, I'm not going to lose any sleep over you or it. That is where I'm pretty much at, you know, in my life. So going back to drama, you know, I know a person, I know a few people who just, and, and this happened even last year. I know people who just love the drama. They will tell you, I want to fix this thing in my life. This thing is so bad. I, I I don't know what to do. They'll break down and they'll cry. They'll have snot coming out their nose. They'll have tears or whatever. And you know, my next question to these people, what are, what is your plan? Are you here to vent? Because I'm. you can only vent to me so long without any actions. My time is precious. I have my own family. I have my own problems. I have my own issues. So I, you can only vent to me and, I, and that's a boundary that I'm allowed to have. You can only vent to me for so long before my next question is, what are your plans? If you tell me your plans are X, Y, and Z, and those aren't your plans and you lie to me and I find out and I've given you so much of my time. I don't care who you are. I've given you so much of my time. I've given you my mental space. I've given you um, my physical space because we might go sit down and talk about it somewhere and you lie, that's probably gonna call for a snip out of my life. And I'm okay with that because I feel like I was a good person during the time that you were going through whatever you were going through. Some people are drained and they wanna drain you too. And I'm just not here for it anymore. I got a text message this morning about something and I'm just like, this person, every time I talk to them, they have something so drastic, like it's drastic going on in their life. And I'm like, aren't you gonna stop and ask yourself why you? Like, why it, are any of these things in your control? Is there something that I can do to change what is going on in my life? Because sometimes self-reflection is a real thing. It really is a real thing. If you're always beefing with somebody, if you're always in constant having these negative things coming, coming into your life and happening to you, you sometimes have to look in the mirror and say, could it possibly be me? It can't always not be you. You, you got to be playing some type of role in this. So I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Um, just for me, I, I think I'm throwing, my friend Will said I was, I, I drop little nuggets daily and I was only doing daily because a few people were like, oh, she drops videos every day. I do not. <laughs> I do not. Let's get that straight. I do not. That was for October. That was a challenge, a personal challenge to myself to see if I could do it. And I passed. I passed A++. Okay. I passed, passed October. And now it's just more of a hopping on here when I can to share whatever is on my mind. It doesn't necessarily always have to be a vlog. I don't always go anywhere to vlog. Like sometimes when, I, when my titles say vlog, that means in my house, that means in my kitchen, that means doing yoga, that means, you know, just something locally. Vlogging to me doesn't mean shopping. It does not mean always spending money. We're, we're not here on this channel to always spend money. Am I gonna pick up little things here and there and share with you guys? Yes, but you know, we're, we're going to be more mindful. We're going to be more mindful over here. Now, if I do purchase something and you guys want to see it, or you, I think you guys want to see it, I'm going to share it, but it's not going to be a whole dramatic thing dedicated to that one thing because I got more, I have other things going on in my life right now. Okay. So good morning. I don't even know if I started off the, the video saying good morning, but good morning. I'm headed to my appointment and I hope you guys got something out of this video. Wipe out that negativity. Choose peace if you can. 
Choose to be better every day if you can. All days are not gonna be good days. And separate yourself from people who enjoy drama. Get those people like gone. Like get, get them gone or place them in a box. Place, place them, here's your drama box over here. Here's the person who always has issues they don't wanna fix. This is how much time I'm gonna dedicate to them. This person, they always make me feel happy every time I talk to them. Um, sometimes they might have a little stuff going on in their life, but don't we all, we all have that. So they're in this box. Start setting your boundaries and placing people in boxes. You don't always have to, now some you got to, you got to cut. Some of these people you're going to have to snip. But you don't have to snip all of them. Just place them in a box. All right, guys. Hope you liked my little nugget this morning. And I will talk to you later. Bye.